Hi, I'm Hayes Jackson. I'm the director here at Longleaf Botanical Garden. I'm also the Urban Regional Extension Agent with the Alabama Cooperative Extension. I'm also a big plant geek. And when it comes to plants, I like some of the things that are kind of unusual, uh, things that are not widely known. And this is one of the plants that gets a lot of attention. And this is called Pagoda Flower. And the red flowers are kind of shaped like a Chinese pagoda, and it is from China. One thing about Clarodendrums is uh, they kind of have a love-hate relationship with a lot of gardeners. A lot of them have beautiful blooms. A lot of them are fragrant. Uh, they're very colorful. The butterflies love them, but they do have a tendency to spread. So depending on the species, I would put them in an area where they can be contained and where they won't run amok in your garden beds. Uh, this one is in a, you can see, a, a nice uh, sunken bed that's surrounded by deck space here at Longleaf. It's not able to run out, so it's contained. But the hummingbirds love these red flowers. It's nice to experience the color. Uh, it is a perennial. It will die down in the winter after frost and come back in the spring. And after uh, some warm, a warm, a period of warm weather, it will start flowering. And we get these beautiful clusters of red blooms. And like I said, the hummingbirds, the butterflies, and the pollinators love it. This is uh, Clarodendron speciosissimum. It's one of those long names that uh, it looks like it has too many vowels. Clarodendron speciosissimum, and it's also known as the pagoda flower.